What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Insidious 5 in this video here again today. So with Insidious 5, it's been a while since I've done a video on this topic because this was announced in late 2020 and we haven't really gotten too many updates since then. There's been like minor ones that I haven't done a video on, so I'm doing a video on them now. But in relation to Insidious 5, we found out in late 2020 that Patrick Patrick Wilson would be starring in the film, returning to star in the film as the father of the Lambert family, along with his son, Ty Simp Simpkins, who played Dalton in the film as well. And it will be taking place 10 years after the events of Insidious 2, so it won't be ignoring 3 or 4, but it's finally going to be the first sequel that we've gotten since 2013, picking us back up with the Lambert family. And hopefully we'll be able to have a nice little trilogy there if you want to not watch those at least centered films, which it seems like that's what the franchise are starting to do. Going into 4 and three uh three and four i meant to say but just to touch on some things that have come out over the coming months patrick wilson recently did confirm in february that the film was looking to start shooting in spring when talking with screen rent during a press junket for the film moonfall um and he said that when asked if the movie was moving forward he said yeah we are and he mentioned that filming starts shooting in the spring and he, he's basically shared his thoughts on the city's chapter five, which will also be his directorial debut. He stated that it's something that I'm super passionate about. And there hasn't been a day since they pitched me the idea that I haven't been all in. It's been a lot of work by Scott Teams, the writer and me and Lee Wanell, who who has helped out obviously a ton. And of course, Blumhouse is a great partner. I've done a bunch of stuff with them, so I couldn't be happier to have my first experience with a very helpful and comfortable group of people that for some reason trust me. So we'll see. And then the other thing that recently came out was from james wan who we know was responsible for the first two movies in terms of being the director of them uh he just went over and was like basically going over the 10 year anniversary of the or the 11 year anniversary of the original film he shared some new snip some behind the scenes images over on his instagram and then at the very bottom of the instagram post he said and so here we are 11 years later our little movie has become a popular horror franchise and patrick wilson is about to travel back into the further with insidious 5 long live the further and then patrick wilson i believe left a comment underneath this post as well when he said it will live he said thank you and then he left a little emoji which seems like it was a reference to the lipstick face demon even though that's not exactly it i'm hoping that this film does indeed bring back the lipstick face demon because i know it was present in one of the last two films i don't remember if necessarily three or four i think it was most i think it was three where it popped up behind elise at the end of the film and Lynn Shea, she's incredible in the role as Elise, so we know she can still return, given that she returned in the second film despite her character dying in the original movie. So hopefully she's back as well. But I'm just I'm more in interested in having a sequel based narrative at this point and seeing what they do going forward. They did seem like they were teasing the return of the lipstick face demon at the end of the second movie when Lynn Shea and Tuck and Tucker and Specs visited this family that jenna ortega was a little girl in this movie at the time for those of you who watch my screen videos jenna ortega had like a brief appearance at the end of, end of insidious 2 and it seemed like uh the the entity that was haunting this wheelchair bound individual uh, i'm i think she was wheelchair bound but it seemed like she was being haunted by the lipstick face demon because in, there was like these familiar like little creaking sounds and twitch sounds or just like snapping sounds that we know we've heard from the lipstick face demon in the last movie and now we've seen them in the third movie as well again i don't think they appeared in the fourth but we never got to see this character back in the full full-fledged villain role hopefully we'll get that this time around with insidious 5 where we are exploring the lamberts once again there's been no word on if rose Byrne will actually be reprising her role as the mother of the lambert family lorraine so maybe that will happen maybe it won't if it doesn't happen then maybe we just get a completely centered movie around a father and son who share this astral projection capability and now it's affecting dalton unfortunately as it pertains to him being in college now because i recall if i if i'm recalling correctly the film is supposed to be 10 years after the events of the first two movies dalton is in college and i'm assuming somehow he'll end up back in the further this could be explored through another another way not just him falling and hitting his head and landing himself in a coma you could explore this in plenty of different ways now that he is older there could be some misuse of a certain substance that gets involved somehow uh something that is different that speaks to his current his current age i i would say because 
The other thing I think is kind of funny about this whole thing, when it relates to his father in the movies, we find out that Elise managed to kind of make him forget his astral projection capability. So did this happen with Dalton? Will that be a development that we find out happened with Dalton as well going into Insidious 5? Or did they just not did they just not get rid of that um did they just not make him forget he can astral project like that and he's just for whatever reason just stopped astral projecting into the further they did they did make it seem like dalton was the better astral projector out of the two in the original movies so we'll see how that really factors into how he ends back up in the further and hopefully coming face to face with this lipstick fakes demon maybe there's some other individuals that they'll meet in along the way that can astral project again i'm hoping elise is back maybe tucker and specs are back and we'll just have a good time back into the further we go as they've been saying um and I, I i really just hope that with this new entry if it does indeed start filming in the spring that we learn some more details about it sooner rather than later because we are in the spring right now there's been no real update on it there's been no other casting announcements there's been no official log line that's come out outside of what we heard back in late 2020 once again so hopefully we'll start to hear some things coming in the coming weeks and hopefully patrick wilson will start to share some things on his social media and hopefully there's some great new additions that join us on this franchise that i know started back in 2010 2011 depending on i i think it came out in 2011 but sometimes i see it say it came out in 2010 i recall seeing it for the first time in 2011 in in theaters but maybe i'm thinking about a festival it debuted at but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to insidious 5 do you think it's going to start filming this spring do you think that rose Byrne will be back in the role of her character do you think that uh lynn shea will be back as elise do you think that elise should come back and have a prominent role in the film along with dalton who we know is going to be portrayed by ty simpkins once again what do you hope to see as you venture out back into the further are you even a fan of this franchise let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.